Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very, very exciting day. It is launch day for a ton of new products in my Etsy shop, Planning to Prosper. So, I have this little guy pulled up here to mark that, yes, today is new release day. I am filming this at 10 o'clock at night on Tuesday. So I just finished all of my listings. The only time I could film this, of course, is when the kids are in bed. So yeah, I just wanna leave a disclaimer, grab a snack, grab a drink, because it is highly likely that this is going to be a longer video because there are seriously so many changes that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. So. Yeah, I just finished all the listings. They are all posted, ready to go. <sighs> it's been a labor of love, you guys, a labor of love. And I am currently working on a totally new planning system that I am preparing to launch the week of the 21st. I don't have a specific day yet. I'm gonna have to see how the next week and a half goes and everything, but I've made really good progress in the last couple days with it and I've got the whole week next week off, as you can see, to work solely on that planner. So Andrew knows I am pretty much just full on like working on this. I'm not going to be very available next week. And then this week, I'm just every chance I get to work on it, I have been. But anyways, we have a lot to get through. So let me go ahead and grab my little Apple pencil out of here and we will get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to our new releases folder and we'll start going through some of the changes. So the first thing I wanted to share with you guys, my shop recently went through a revamp. I changed up my branding and all that kind of stuff. So you're gonna see the new branding in the new products and everything like that. So some exciting things about it. Let me pull up this first sticker kit hit here. This is one of the sticker kits that I've been sneak peeking quite a bit. So I'll go through all the details here in just a moment, but I did want to point out that now um, at the bottom of each sticker kit, you're going to see these little icons. They were on the previous like sticker kits as well, but now these are hyperlinked. I had a lot of you guys request for them to be hyperlinked. So when you tap on that, it's going to take you straight to my Etsy shop. When you tap on the YouTube icon, it's going to take you straight to my YouTube channel. The Instagram is gonna take you straight to my Instagram account. And then the Facebook is going to take you straight to our Facebook group. I highly recommend joining the Facebook group. Um, I ask lots and lots of questions there, especially lately for the new planners and everything. I give sneak peeks and, you know, we share our spreads in the group and everything. It's really fun. So definitely join that. I do plan to be way more active in that group very, very soon. But yeah, so I try to do the best I can to post as much as I can in there. But um, regardless, there are a lot of people in there that are sharing their spreads, asking questions, all that kind of stuff. And I love our little community. So definitely join us there. I also have a link to the Facebook group in the description box down below so you can check it out. But I wanted to point that out. And then of course, I've got the new branding, which is the rose gold and the cacti, which I'm completely smitten with and obsessed. So right off the bat, you can probably see there is a big change. And that is that you are now going to get two sets of date dots in each sticker kit. So you'll have some options. You'll have some color options as well as some font options. So there are three main fonts that I'm using for all of my products for starting now and moving forward until I decide to switch it up again. So you're gonna see all those font options throughout all the products and things like that. But this is one of the fonts here that I am completely smitten with. It's the same font that's up here. It's called Sunkissed. Um, very, very cute. And then this is a very just like basic, you know, standard font. It's the uh, Beba's New, I think is what it's called. So just FYI, most of my fonts I do purchase, just so you know, um, because I need the commercial license, but you can go to dafont.com, and if you're using fonts for personal use, you don't have to pay because you don't need the license and all that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to put that out there because a lot of people ask about the fonts that I use. I have no problem sharing that with you guys. If you want to download the font to your iPad and like be able to use the text tool and all that kind of stuff, 
totally understand that. So there you go. Um, this is, by the way, the Summer Fun sticker kit. I don't know if I mentioned that yet or not, but this is the Summer Fun sticker kit. So here are our washi options, just these really cute, like tropical looking florals, nice and bright. The watermelon, which reminds me of my six year old who is obsessed with watermelon. That girl will literally eat like a pound of watermelon if I put it in front of her. So she had a lot of fun. She kind of helped me pick out some of the designs for these kits, by the way. She's been my little, my little helper in all this. And so she was very excited about the little watermelons too. And then there's this kind of beachy looking one with the bikinis and the beach ball and the popsicles and sunglasses and all that good stuff. So very summery. And then there's some thin washi options, the leaves, and then some basic like stripes and these are like paint swipes and things like that and then you get some decorative labels as well there so some rectangles which i've seen a lot of people use these to mark long periods of time in their monthly view and i think that is so clever just FYI, i think that's like the cutest idea and something that i need to experiment experiment with myself and then there are some circles here and some squares so tons of pattern label options and then you get all your full boxes as well so these are really great for like the traditional vertical view or you can turn any of these into washi you can use them as like a background for something if you want to use it as like a frame or if you want to you know just put some decoration into your spread in general it's just so much that you can use the full boxes for so there's these yellow stripes the leaves more stripes flowers this is so pretty too with the dark green background this little uh, reef here if you guys can see that pattern up close and then this little beachy one and the watermelons so that is page one and you guys there are nine pages now <laughs> included with the sticker kits i do want to say the price has not changed it is still 7.99 for the sticker kits, even though you're getting tons of extra stickers, I did not want to raise the price. So I just want to put that out there. All of my digital sticker packs like this um, that you can use for planning and all that good stuff, they are $7.99. And then stay tuned because I always, always share a discount code in my new releases video to celebrate. So definitely keep watching. Like I said, make sure you have a snack, make sure you have a beverage because we have a lot to get through. Okay. So here's the second page. You're gonna see the weekend banners that are the same as usual. A lot of um, flags and appointment labels, little chat bubbles and asterisks and stars and all that good stuff. I use these very often to like mark big events and stuff in my calendar. One really nice thing about these stickers is that you can manipulate the shape of it very easily. So if you wanted it to be like more rectangular, you know, there's just so many different things you can do with it. So just wanted to mention that as well. And then on this page, oh, this page is probably my favorite, one of my favorite new things. Okay, so very exciting stuff happening. Let me, let me show you guys. So you're gonna get your little color blocks with the check boxes. So if you have like a big like to do, something you have to get done that day, or you're going to run an errand and you wanna check it off, whatever that may be, you can do that. And then this just solid color block, which can be used as thin washi. You can use that to be like a background to something. Again, you can manipulate these shapes really really easily you always want to use the photo tool if you want to change the height or the width of the sticker so just wanted to mention that real quick i actually don't really use the lasso very much to mess with my stickers um, other than copying and pasting them i use the photo tool for pretty much everything else these over here are super fun so let me show you how these work so I'm gonna just gonna copy, let's do this color. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it over in my spread here. And you are going to notice when we're over here that it is transparent, you guys. A transparent color block. So if you want to do some time blocking in your weekly spread, so let me show you guys an example of that. Let's go to this past week. I think it's under week one. Yeah, so this is this um, past week, which I did not fill in hardly at all, just being totally transparent. I have not been doing my own planning because I've been so busy with stuff for the shop, but that happens. Um, 
So if you wanted to do some color blocking where you wanted to, you know, mark a little chunk of time in your planner, you could easily do that if you want to like mark like from five to one. You can just kind of resize it to where you want it to be. And then you can just have that, you know, chunked out or you can write on top of it and say, you know, this is going to be um, work on like YouTube stuff. So these little transparent squares are great for time blocking. Very exciting. One of my favorite additions, honestly. And then I've got some new like ombre check boxes here. So I have some Monday through Sunday ones, um, some larger ones. A lot of you guys wanted a larger option for the ombre checklist. So you have two color options for both. You're gonna have this orangey one and the kind of pink coral one here. And you have different font options as well. So the Sunday's in that Bebe's, Bebe's new, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. And then the sun kissed is over here. And then you've got your usual ombre checklist as well if you want just kind of the more standard ones. You've got a couple shapes, the hearts, the hexagons. Here is the fourth page. So you're gonna get your little reminders, your habit trackers, both in a Monday and a Sunday start. And then I switched up the Polaroid frames a little bit to make it just a little bit easier. So I took this really cute picture of Julia earlier. <laughs> so she unraveled like a whole roll of toilet paper, which is really fun. Um, or not toilet paper, it was paper towels. So you can come in here and you can kind of crop it to where it's like a square shape and just resize it until it fits there. And we can put like, troublemaker <laughs> because that is Jules to a T. So you get a couple Polaroids which I think is just such a cute way to like mark little memories and things like that in your planner spread. So you get three color options for the Polaroids and then you get these little paint splashes here. The fifth page you're going to get some basic shapes so some circles, some outlines with like a white um, interior and stuff like that. You get these little squares, a bunch of different color options there. And then these frames are really nice. So with these frames, let's go ahead and come back over to the spread here. You can easily, they're transparent in the middle. So if you, again, wanted to kind of come up with a way to block some time in your planner, you can do that. You can kind of like you know, frame something. You can do that with a picture as well, however you want to do it, but the frames are really nice. So those are, again, all transparent in the middle. So you get these square ones, and then you also get these ones with like a more rounded edge. So there's six different options for the frames. And then the icons are quite different. So there's a cleaning one, a haircut, laundry, a house, a tooth for the dentist, a doctor, piggy bank, uh, if you're watering some plants, a telephone, a car, an exclamation mark, some balloons, a little gift, a trash can, a TV, YouTube, Etsy, Instagram, and Facebook, a little computer, a shopping cart, a paw print, the little meal, fork and knife, a weight for working out, a little envelope, a book, a calculator, a shoe, a cross, a recycle symbol, a pencil, a water drop, a check mark, a little airplane, and a scale. So there are many more icons now to pick from and I tried to make them look, look like more streamlined and everything. And then you get tons of arrow options here, lots and lots of arrow options. So that's that page. And then on the next page you now have 100, 100 headers to choose from. So I'll try to get through these pretty quickly, but there's affirmation, afternoon, AM, appointment, bath night, Bible study, bills, breakfast, budget meeting, canceled, celebrate church class, currently, date night, day off, daycare, dinner, don't forget, drop off, 
And then there is do today, edit, errands, Etsy, evening, family time, film, game day, game night, girls night, goals, gratitude, grocery time, gym class, half day, home, homeschool, homework, important, Instagram. And then you've got laundry, lunch, meal plan, meal prep, measurements, medication, meeting, morning, nap time, next month, next week, no school, notes, planning to prosper new releases, payday, pickup, planner time, play date, PM routine, and practice. And then prayer time, pre-K, preschool, quiet time, rescheduled, school, self-care, sick day, snack, steps, therapy this month, <laughs> this week, to buy, to call, to clean, to do, to email, to go, to mail. And then to pack, to pay, to read, to watch, today, top three, track expenses, training, trash day, trash out, Upload, vacation, vitamins, wash hair, water plants, weigh in, work, work from home, workout, and YouTube. 100 headers, <laughs> you guys, a lot. So yeah, um, I use the headers quite often in my spreads to, you know, mark things and stuff. So yeah, and I am going to be working on a scripts bundle eventually too that you can layer on top of other stickers and things like that. But I'm pretty excited about all those headers. I tried to literally think of everything I really could. <laughs> so yeah, pretty exciting. And then we get into the clip art. So now I've got these little weekend banners, uh, weekend script stickers, I guess, um, is the better term for it. And it's got a white out outline. So I would recommend layering these. Um, you can either put them here and just let like the white kind of show or you can even layer it on top of like one of the color blocks um, here. So let's grab like this green one and I'll just pull that across, make it nice and big, it's not going to look perfect. And then whenever you want to layer a sticker on top of another sticker, and if you put this down, like if I put this over here right now, well, it's going to move everything there, but it's going to um, disappear in the background. See that? So what you want to do is you want to just cut that first and then paste it. And I'm going to actually just take this photo, this tool here. And then when you put it there, once you cut, uh, cut it, and where was this? I think it was like right here-ish. Um, now it'll layer on top. So yeah, so the weekend little script stickers. And there are six color options for that. Oops, there we go. So I've got every color here and you do receive the hex codes for the color scheme for every kit as well. You've got your weather stickers, of course, and then a lot of the same clip art that I usually provide. And um, here's another sheet of clip art. And then here's the hex codes. So a lot of you wanted the hex codes to be on the sticker pack. And so I've done that and I kind of took it a step further because you can actually move this around. So if you wanted to co uh, copy it and paste it over into your planner so you can kind of look at the hex codes as you're changing your pen color and your highlighter color, you can now do that, which is really nice. Um, so yeah. And then you get into a lot of like the theme of the clip art which is summertime so a lot of the clip art is pretty similar to what i've been putting out for summertime so flip flip flops and popsicles and flowers and the sun some sunglasses this little surfing like volkswagen um the airplane is new i'm very excited about the airplane so if you want to mark some travel and things like that the push pins and the little post-it notes are very popular a lot of people like using those so yeah, that is the summer fun sticker kit and all of the new added stickers to 
the kits, which is very exciting. Lots of fun things to kind of play with and everything. So yeah, I hope you guys love all of the new additions to the kits. Um, I think there's just so much you can do. Literally, you can get one kit and probably create like I don't know, a dozen different spreads with it, depending on like which color you're focusing on, which wash you decide to use, if you decide to use some of the full boxes, it's so easy to switch it up. And I just wanted it to be um, a kit where like you could have so much creative freedom to create whatever you want to. So that is again, the summer fun sticker kit. Whenever you purchase your stickers from my shop, you will receive the Good Notes file, and then you also do receive individual PNG images for everything that is in the Good Notes file, and that's if you're using any other PDF reading app, such as Note Shelf, Notability, Zoto, OneNote, all that kind of stuff. You can absolutely use my stickers in those programs as well. You would just pull them in as individual PNG images. The Good Notes file will only work in GoodNotes. So just important little disclaimer there because I do get questions about that. So that is the Summer Fun sticker kit and now we'll go through the rest of the kits. Okay, so let's go back to our new releases file and the next sticker kit I am going to share with you guys is the Independence Day sticker kit. So this is for the 4th of July. So again, you get the date dot, date dot options. You get this really cute like North America washi. I thought that was super cute. And then the stripes and the stars and like the little sunbeam, like fireworks, things like that. Very like traditional 4th of July kit, but I loved the colors in this kit. I just thought they were really, really cute. Um, it's just like a mix of like softer colors with bolder, brighter colors. And I thought that was adorable. So those are all of the washi options. And then there's your pattern labels and your full boxes. Here's sheet two with your weekend labels, your flags, the appointment labels, you get five different colors there, the little asterisks and the star, the little chat bubbles and big like, you know, box labels and things like that. And then here's your little checklist boxes, your solid color blocks and your transparent color blocks. And then you've got your ombre checklists, your hearts in hexagons, and then the larger ombre checklists, and then the weak um, checklist. And these I think will be really great to use in your sidebar area as well of your planner. So there's that. And then you've got your reminders, the habit trackers, the Polaroids, and the little paint splashes. And then you've got your circles, your squares, and all of your frames, again, in all six of the colors. And then here's your icons. And then, of course, a bunch of arrow options as well. Next page, you've got all of your headers in this dark blue color, which looks a lot brighter on camera. It is not that bright. It's more of like a navy color in person. And then here's your clip art. So you've got your hex codes, your weekend labels, and then all of your like weather stickers and regular clip art. And in this particular kit, I did a lot of like 4th of July themed clip art. So you've got this really cute little banner here, the fireworks, the American flag, sun sunglasses, the little hat. I love this, the North America little um, flag and then this firework rocket and all of that. So that is the clip art for this one. That's the Independence Day sticker kit. And then we'll move right along to the next one, which is the Summer Days. And I am completely smitten with this kit, let me tell you. This one was really fun to put together. I think one of the most fun parts of creating the sticker kits is picking out the designs, creating the stickers, and then once I get to the Good Notes file and I get to see everything together, that is super exciting. Like I, 
I am obsessed with this kit. I cannot wait to use it. So here are the date dots, two color options and font options there. And then look at this washi. It is beautiful, you guys. Like, I feel like the camera is not doing justice here, but very tropical, very summery. You've got the bikinis and the pineapples and like the beach flip flops and everything, the citrus and the little like drink with the lemon in it. Oh, so stinking cute. I am seriously obsessed with this one. And then you've got your pattern labels. The colors are just so pretty too. Here's the pattern labels, a closer view. Look at all the little fruits. How cute. Oh, and this one, my daughter loved. My um, six-year-old is obsessed with unicorns. Like, I feel like obsessed isn't even enough to describe, like, how in love with unicorns she is. Everything's about unicorns. So she loved this little one with the little raft, and she was like, can we get one of those for our pool? And by our pool, she means the neighborhood pool. We do not have a pool. But anyways, I digress. So, um, and then we've got some citrus here some more tropical plants, and then all of your full box options. So here's a little closer look at all those fruits. Look at the little dragon fruit and the kiwi, all the summery fruits, lots of flowers. I love the little sunglasses, little martini glasses with like the watermelon in it. Oh man, I am just in love with this one. I really cannot wait to use this. So this is again the summer days one. And then here are the weekend banners, the little flags, appointment labels, and then the asterisks, the little teardrops, and the chat bubbles, and the label boxes. And then you get your color blocks, so again the checklist and all six colors, the solid colors, and the transparent. And your ombre checklists, your hearts, your hexagons, and then all of these big ombre checklist here and then you've got your reminder labels your habit trackers your polaroids which i cannot wait i need to use those more often the polaroids it's just so fun and then the little paint swipes you've got your shapes up here and a bunch of different options your arrows lots and lots of arrows your icons and then your frames as well all of your headers and again it looks brighter on camera than in person but this is like a darker like a super dark teal i would say or maybe even like not quite a hunter green a little bit lighter than hunter green but yeah it's definitely picking up lighter on camera and then your weather stickers the hex codes the weekend scripts and then a whole bunch of clip art as per usual and i piece together all these kits by hand so the clip art is always like in a different assortment like <laughs> it's the same clip art but it just it looks different in each kit um, and then the summertime clip art for this kit, I love, like, this flower. I love the flip-flops, like, just so many cute, cute stickers. I love the colors of this kit. So, and then there's that airplane again. That's a new one. I'm trying to think if I missed any new ones. I don't think I did. I think the airplane was one of the new ones I did, besides the scripts and stuff. So, that is the summer days. And then we'll go and check out the next one, which is the ice cream for ice cream. This is another one that I am just totally <laughs> smitten with, and it's because of the colors. So here are the date dots in that like mauve pink color, super cute. And then this um, little set of date dots as well, which is like a yellowish green color. And then here are your full boxes, so the little ice creams, some stripes, these are little sprinkles, how cute is that? And then another one with like popsicles and ice creams and then sprinkles in the background or like little confetti. And then that like crisscross one, the little polka dots, more of the popsicles, which this one is super cute as well. And then the diagonal stripes. 
And here are the washi options. So you've got those popsicles, the sprinkles, and the little um, assortment of everything. The diagonal stripes, the crisscrosses, the polka dots, and then you've got your, um, not appointment labels, your pattern labels as well. And in full transparency, I ate just a little bit of Mud Pie Mojo <laughs> from Cold Stone like right before I started filming this because I wanted a little bit of a sugar rush. I am filming this at 10.30 and you guys, I've been working so hard. Like I've been working, I love it though. I love it so much and that's what keeps me going. But um, I'm tired, <laughs> so, um, but it's been a labor of love. I just, I love it. So here are the pattern labels closer look of everything. And then here's page two with the weekend banners and the flags, the appointment labels, asterisks, teardrops, chat bubbles, and the, um, I never like know what to call these. Just box labels? I don't know. Anyways, and then we've got your little color blocks here with the checklist, the solid colors, and the transparent. And you've got your ombre checklists, your hearts, your hexagons, and then here are all of the like larger ombre checklists for the week and the regular one. Your reminder labels, the little habit trackers, and then your pol Polaroids and your paint splotches, swipes, things. <laughs> And then you've got your circles, your squares, all of your frames, of course. Missed that little one down there. All of your arrows. And then you've got all of your icons as well. And then you've got your headers, which these are in that charcoal, like gray color. Whenever I'm picking out the headers, I try to think of things that would pair well with the ombre checklists, like as like a header to them. So there is a method <laughs> to my madness in picking out the color for certain things. And then you get into your clip art, so your weekend banners, your hex codes, all of your standard clip art there. And again, like the flower just looks so pretty. Sunglasses, the flip flops. I'm seriously obsessed with the flip flops. I use them a ton and all that. So that is the ice cream for ice cream. And then we we'll get into the last sticker kit, which is the sweet strawberry sticker kit. And this one is adorable as well. So you've got your pink, date dots and then this like dark burgundy red color. Here are the washi options. So the strawberries, the flowers, more strawberries, and then your thin washi. And the pattern labels. And then all of the full boxes as well. So there are all of those. <laughs> my phone and my watch keep going off like crazy. Okay, which is odd because it's like 10.45 at night. But anyways, so here is the second page with the weekend banners, the flags, the appointment labels, the asterisks, the teardrops, chat bubbles, and the box labels. And then you've got your checklists, your solid block of color, and your transparent blocks of colors, your ombre checklists, the hearts and hexagons, and the ombre checklists here as well with like the week and all that good stuff. And then you've got your reminder labels, your habit trackers, the Polaroids, and the paint splotches, circles and squares, oops, the frames and the icons, and all of the arrows. 
all of the headers in that like green color which I thought would pair really nice oops with either of these and then you get into your clip art so the hex codes the weekend scripts and then the clip art here the weather of course did I say that already probably <laughs> and then more clip art and more clip art so I tried to space apart the clip art a little bit more to make it easier to find things um, as well so and I don't know what it is about these airplanes but I just love them it makes me want to go on an airplane which we have no plans to anytime soon but that would be fun so those are all of the planning sticker kits so then we get into the budget area of things so the first one we're going to look at for the budget one is the ice cream for ice cream and there are some changes here as well so the date dots i use that sun kissed font and then you've got your washi options here as well you've got your bill do stickers and the corner labels the circles which is great for creating like a key for things and then the flags as well and your expense tracking stickers so that's what you're going to find on the first page and then on the second page you're going to find a whole bunch of new clip art the hex codes again are there for you to use as well and then like i said there's lots of new clip art so a lot of people wanted a no spend sticker so you officially now have a no spend sticker I put a little light bulb for electricity and then this little bill clip art, the groceries there, the little water droplets for paying for water, the trash cans, so water and trash, things like that, gasoline, um, cable, a little shopping cart, rent or mortgage, and then the piggy bank is different. I thought that was super cute the cash dollar bills, the little bank here. So lots of cute new clip art options in the budget sticker kits. A little important note, and this is a lot of feedback I've received as well, when you purchase the sticker kits now, you will not receive the script stickers. The script stickers are going to be sold separately. They're automatically gonna come with the budget planner and um, I believe they're going to come with the new planner <laughs> as well, so a little hint there. But um, So you automatically receive them, but I wanted to sell them separately because a lot of you said you just didn't need them and all that kind of stuff when you got this, the budget stickers. So I wanted to sell those separate, um, and I will get to that in a little bit, but now when you purchase the budget stickers, it'll just be these two pages of stickers, and you'll, of course, get the individual PNG images as well. So that is the ice cream for ice cream budget sticker kit. And then we've got the Independence Day budget sticker kit. So you've got all your date dots, your washi, bill do stickers, your flags and corner labels and circles, and then all of your expense tracking stickers as well. And then on the second page, you've got all of your clip art. So you've got your hex codes, um, the calculators and different like utilities and bill types and all that good stuff. There's the no spend um, This little cash for like taking cash out of an ATM All that good stuff. So that is the Independence Day budget sticker kit. The budget sticker kits are $3.99 in my shop so the price did not change on those I left it the same also because I added some new stuff so there's that and then you've got the summer fun sticker kit so there's the date dots the washi options bill do the corner flags the circles the regular flags and the expense tracking stickers and then on page two, you've got all of your clip art. So the piggy bank, the calculators and cash, all the little cute stuff here. And then the hex codes as well. So those are the three budget sticker kits that I'm offering for July. 
and then we get into some really fun stuff. So, um, some little surprises. And I'll get into the inserts and all of that here in just a moment as well. This has been a highly, highly, highly <laughs> requested item. And I'm so sorry it took me so long to get this up for you guys. But honestly, there was just so much other stuff I had to work on. And it just kind of fell to the bottom of the list. But I wanted to make sure it was good to go for this new release for you guys because I know you guys have been waiting for this. So these are the meal planning stickers that come with the meal planner. A lot of you did not need the planner and just wanted the stickers. So now you have them, which is very exciting. So you've got all of the little cute like sayings and um, sayings and clip art and all that kind of stuff. Um, Nothing has really changed a whole ton. I didn't include the scripts in this, obviously, because I didn't think you guys would need those. It was just more for, like, the cute clip art and images and all that good stuff. So there's all of the little stickers there. And all of the GoodNotes files are pre-cropped, so you'll notice when I lasso this, it's or if I even, like, tap it there, it's pre-cropped. So as close to everything as I could get it, I kind of monkeyed around with it and got it there so it won't take up like it won't overlap with other stickers a whole ton or anything like that so um this one is funny because i just actually talked to andrew about that i'm like don't forget ranch dressing <laughs> it's a staple in our house let me tell you and this is meal planning sticker pack one so i do plan on working on additional stickers in the future because these were just so much fun to create so just be on the lookout for that in the near-ish future. I need to get the planners and stuff done first. Um, and then I wanna get the August and September kits up in July, so that will be the priority right now for the summertime, but hopefully in the fall and stuff, I'll start releasing some more stuff like this, like meal planning sticker kits, and um, I wanna work on actually like a back to school sticker kit. There's a whole bunch, like I seriously have like such a long list of things that I wanna work on. So this is the first page, and this is the second page, and again, you'll get the good notes file, and then you'll also get all the individual PNG images. So you got the little sweet as pie and out of milk, chop it like it's hot, <laughs> eggs and bacon, spicy. So just cute little things that you can use to decorate your meal plans and all that good stuff. And I am working on meal planning inserts as well. That's something that has been highly requested. Um, again, it wasn't as much of a priority as some of the other items that I've been working on, but it is on my list and it's getting closer to the top of the list because I know it's something you guys are really wanting. So just stay tuned for that. But yeah. So those are the meal planning sticker packs, and I believe I listed those for $3.99 as well. Let me double check real quick. I feel like I should know my own prices, <laughs> but it is late, so I gotta, gotta get, cut myself some slack. Yeah, so the meal planning sticker kit is $3.99, so. There's that, and then here are the like script stickers and stuff. So this is font C, and I've just got everything in alphabetical order here, and you've got just a lot of different like labels to label sections in your planner, or like if you're creating your own like um, bullet journal type of spread type of deal, you can do that. So that is um, budget script C. And then I also have B, which is this cursive sun-kissed font. Oh, and I should mention this font that I'm using here is iced coffee. That's what this one's called. And I did purchase that, I believe, from Etsy. So this is iced coffee. And then the sun-kissed. And there's 77 script stickers here. Each of the uh, script sticker packs are $1.99. And then this is the last script, which is the Bebe's. <laughs> the Bebe's new, I, I swear, Bay Boss. I don't know how to say it, but anyways, that's what it is. So again, all the script stickers. And these are all like pre-cropped, just single stickers that you can copy and paste and 
put into your planner wherever you would like to and they're in alphabetical order to make it like easier to find things. You will get both the good notes file and the pre-cropped PNG images with those. So those are all of like the stickers and everything like that. The next thing I want to show you guys are the inserts. So for that I'm just going to jump to, I'm actually going to go ahead and pull up my budget planner. I feel like that's the easiest thing to do. And we will go ahead and go to a page in the back. Um, and I might even, do I have them up? Yeah, I have them up already. Um, do I have all of them? No, I don't. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. Okay. So let me pull up all of the inserts real quick. Okay. So I've got all of the inserts, um, pulled up for the summer fun. And this is some feedback I've received a lot as well. Some people want all of their inserts to match. So you guys. This is huge. <laughs> so now with the inserts, there are gonna be three washi options and you're gonna receive literally over 100 inserts for each washi option and they're sold separately, but there, I also do have a bundle option. So I'll explain that here in just a minute. But for washi one, you'll get, this is washi one for the summer fun. So you'll get this washi in all of the inserts so that they will all match. So one thing you could do, if you want like a variety, you could purchase two separate like insert bundles and kind of mix and match them or you can just do the one and have it match and everything. Um, so yeah, so this is the first washi option for summer fun and hopefully I explained that well enough. Oh, Andrew's home. I'm going to go close the door real quick. <laughs> but yeah, so just to kind of re-explain, because I'm not sure I explained that well enough. So there's the ice cream for ice cream, the Independence Day, and Summer Fun are the three like themes I picked for the budget kits for July. So for each of those th those themes, there's a separate listing for each washi option. So, um, so yeah. And now, as you probably notice, instead of it saying monthly budget, you're going to get the actual month budget. So it says July, but you also do get January, February, March, April, May, so on and so forth for all of those. So yeah, pretty exciting. And then another thing too, that is new is that whenever you purchase the inserts from my shop, you will automatically receive the matching printables as well. So if you would prefer to print them out, I print it out honestly to do my rough drafts quite often before I film like my monthly budget videos. And the rough draft is kind of what I use to go over the budget with Andrew and stuff too. So I was using that for myself and I figured if I'm using it for myself, you guys might want to use it that way too. Um, I do plan to eventually post the printables by themselves without inserts too. Um, that is going to be something on my list. I know Chrissy reached out to me <laughs> about that and that is something I'm planning to add to the shop as well is doing all the printables. But um, for this release for today, I wanted to just make sure to have this done and then the printables will be something I probably work on. Um, I don't know, probably in the next couple days. I'm, I'm sort of prioritizing the new planner right now, so I might wait until after I have the new planner done. But honestly, this is super affordable. It, even if you don't use the inserts, I did do a lot of research on Etsy and like, you know, to figure out my pricing and things like that. And for the inserts and the printables like together, it's $9.99 for everything. And you get over a hundred worksheets. So you're going to get um, like over a hundred, I think it's 106 <laughs> printables and inserts all together. So again, this is the first washi option. And then let me go ahead and show you the second one. So the second washi option is here. And I've got my, here, let's pull up this one. I've got my, let's see, we'll find July. Oh, I just scrolled right past it. So here's the July. So you'll notice it is like that little bikini and like the beach balls and the seashells and all of that. So that's the second washi option. And you can see that in the listing photos as well. And there's a video that flips through so you can know exactly which washi, or which washi you are getting. And then there is the weekly check-in. So I like to usually put those side by side so you can see 
But yeah, and then this is different up here too. I wanted to make it look like more 3D and everything, and I just really love how that turned out. It just makes it pop out um, from the washi a little bit more. But yeah, so that's washi two. And here is washi three. So it's got those little watermelons there. Super, super cute. So again, when you get the bundle, so the bundle is $17.99, and you will receive all three washi options and the stickers. So you get printables for all three washi options, all the three options for the inserts, and you get the matching sticker set. So I wanted to give you guys options as far as like, if you wanna just use one type of washi, like one type of like, you know, um, design, and then if you wanna get the stickers separately, if you don't want them, that sort of thing. So that's kind of how that will work now. Um, and you guys will see that in the listings when you go to my shop today. By the way, everything I'm showing you guys today is gonna to be under the new releases section. So just FYI there. Okay, so that is the summer fun. And then let me go ahead and show you the Independence Day. I think it's the next one, yeah. Budget insert, so here's Washi One. Okay, so here is Washi One, and it's got the cute little stars in the background. Again, this is for the Independence Day. And there's the weekly check-in page. And by the way, there are so many inserts. The full list of the inserts that are included in in here and the printables is in the listing photos and in the listing description. So if you want a full list of everything that you get, definitely check that out. But there are literally 106 printables and inserts. So just FYI <laughs> with that. Okay, and then let me pull up Washi 2. So here is Washi 2. So you've got the stars and the stripes. And by the way, you probably did notice too the fonts all changed in here too. So you got the, the cute like sun-kissed font, the Bebes <laughs> one. I don't know why that sounds so funny. And then the um, iced coffee as well. So different fonts and all that good stuff. And you do get transparent inserts and white background inserts. So with the white background, I'll just show you real quick. If you wanna cover up an existing page in a planner, you can easily just put the like white background over it and it will cover it up perfectly. Um, the transparent, I feel, are easier to work with when you're just putting it on a blank page like I have been, but I wanted to do the white background as well just in case you wanted to you know, cover up an existing page. So now I will pull up Washi 3. Here is Washi 3 for the Independence Day budget theme. So you've got the really cute like star, it reminds me of like star beams or fireworks in the background there with the blue and then you've got the red, everything else. So very patriotic if I do say so myself. So that is the Independence Day. And you'll notice too with the budget sticker sets that the washi um, matches the three like washi options of the inserts. I did that on purpose so everything matches. I'm a matchy matchy person myself so I just can't help it. <laughs> um, and then now I will pull up the ice cream for ice cream. Here is the first washi option for the ice cream for ice cream kit. So it's that like little mix of the sprinkles and the ice cream and the you know popsicles and all that fun stuff. And it's got this like mauve pink color there. And then there's the weekly check-in page. So that's the first washi option. And I will pull up the second. Here is the second washi option. So you've got the little popsicles in the background there. Again, with like that mauve pink color. I just thought that matched like so well with all the washi. Here is the third option for the ice cream for ice cream inserts, and it's the little sprinkles, very simple in the back. There's, there's the July budget and the weekly check-in page. So those are all the inserts. So really there are nine options <laughs> now for the inserts, and if you do the bundle again, you will receive all three of the insert options for like that particular theme and you'll receive the matching budget stickers and like I said before you also will get printable files for everything which is just a PDF document and yeah 
So you guys, <laughs> this is probably an hour long video at this point, but those are all of the new releases. So many new items. I am very, very excited. Again, this has been a true, true labor of love. It's been really fun though to put it all together. I'm excited to put together the August and September kits. I am planning to release both in July. My goal is to be like two months ahead moving forward so that like in July, you'll be able to get September's kits in August. You'll be able to get October's kits because a lot of you have said that you like to plan well in advance and get all your kits ready and like organized and all of that good stuff. So I completely understand that. So that is a goal of mine is to get ahead. But right now I've switched gears and I am mega fo focusing on this new planner system that I have been working on. And you guys, there's literally nothing like it on the market. Like I've done a lot of research and have looked at other products and things like that. And I've thought a lot about like, you know, where there are gaps and like how I would use the planner and what your guys' feedback has been. And I've taken all of that into account and I'm pretty obsessed with the new planner system. I can't wait to have it like finalized and ready to use. Like I seriously cannot wait. So stay tuned for that because that will be coming later this month. But yeah, those are all the new releases. Let me go ahead and share the little discount code with you guys as well. The discount code to use today is pretty cheesy, but I'm a cheesy person. I can't help myself. So the discount code is going to be amazing25. Again, the code is amazing25. And that will save you 25% off everything in my shop. So definitely be sure to use that code. Save yourself some money. Um, I'm so excited to see what you guys are excited for. So let me know what your favorite kit is down below. I would love to know. And yeah, thanks for sticking with me throughout this long new release video. Again, there were just so many changes to get through. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos. I'll see you on Friday for the week one budget check-in for June. And yeah, I will chat with y'all later. Bye.